Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, ati Rasul, o ne amri minkum. Always a reminder for myself, an abdakul ajisu, da'ifu, miskeen, uzalim, jahal. And but for the grace of Allah Azawajal that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah inshaAllah Allah Azawajal dress us with the intention of Laylatul Israhi wal Miraj, inshaAllah coming Sunday, Monday night and that we'd be dressed by its immensity, its blessings and the lights in which Allah Azawajal eternally dressing upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is a calling from Divinely Presence to the Presence of Sayyidina Muhammad to come to the Divinely Presence and with that reality entering into that ocean of immensity and beatific lights that eternally the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah eternally is moving towards the reality of La ilaha illallah and it reaches, reaches always and stays at the distance of qawb qawsayni o adana, two bow lengths or even nearer. That in that eternal movement is the reality of everything coming into existence and continuously creation expanding. As much as they look they see the universe is continuously expanding. And that is the expansion and the movement that at that speed of light and beyond the speed of understanding of light that the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah soul and light is eternally moving towards the reality of La ilaha illallah and every beatific ocean and reality is being dressed by that. On the occasion of the 27th of Rajab in which Allah brought Prophet Wasallam's physicality to witness that reality. It means that who knows himself will know his Lord and that is the, the opening of that reality for all of existence, all of creation. That when Allah calls to the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah to come to witness the immensity of your reality behind that then like a comet all of creation is trying to move into that reality to find its understanding of itself and its reality. And without Muhammadun Rasulullah at the front then nothing can know its true reality until first the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is established. And as a result everything behind that. So it's a great opening for all of creation to understand their reality, to understand who knows themselves so that they will know the reality of Lordship and the reality of that Lordship upon themselves. So alhamdulillah that Allah granted us a life in which to see the blessed nights of Rajab, the month of Rajab, subhanahu man huwa khaliqun nur and that Glory be to the one whom creates this light and this reality. We pray that Allah grant us to be dressed from the immensity of its lights and its blessings and that ashiqeen their mirage is into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad That's why the, this way is, is called the way of Divine Love. That only through the love of, of the reality of the Divine and the love to the prophetic reality and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad only through that ishq is capable of reaching into that miraj. There's no prayer that you can do that grants you to go up, there's no zakat that you can give that grants you to go up, there's nothing of an action that we can do that would grant us that Allah says, if you do this you're going to go on to a miraj, means that the only way to go on to that miraj is through love. And when Prophet described that to Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, you'll be with whom you love. Means then the immensity of tariqahs are taken from that reality that with this way of love, if I love Allah and I love Sayyidina Muhammad and I love whom Allah loves, then Allah will keep me to be in their company. 
as a result of their companionship with this ishq, they would dress us from where they are achieving. These great souls in which God has destined for them immense, immense dressings and realities and emanations. By loving them and having good character we can move into that ocean of reality to be dressed by it. All these teachings and all these realities and all these stations that they teach from is all achievable by love. So when people say, oh I don't know if I can you know achieve these things, the only thing there is to achieve is love. That if you love them more than you love yourself, if you love Sayyidina Muhammad first is the love of the Divine and when we love the Divine with sincerity He begins to teach to us, love whom I love of my Prophets. And if we love them more than we love ourselves and live a life to serve them and to be of service to them, their community, their message, their reality, then we live a life of, of Divine grace and service, that Divine grace dresses us, blesses us, takes every difficulty away from us and as a result of that service that we do we think to ourselves that, how can I be a better person to serve you? And they say, okay well then I'll learn what you taught of how to wash. And then we adhere to all of the washing to be clean and cleanliness is close to godliness. And in the pursuit of our service and wanting to serve the Divine and serve the prophetic reality, how can I serve you better? Then they begin to teach, then you should be praying. As a pray, praying is a form of discipline upon the self, taking away the beast and bringing about the angel. And then praying with a good heart, with a clean heart, with, with the cleanliness within the heart then all of that service becomes so much more powerful. Then again our, our inspirations come that, how can I serve you better and the Divine begins to teach, be charitable, be generous, have the good characteristics. So then we find all of the principles of the deen and all the principles of Islam of, of, of witnessing that there is no God but, but God and that Muhammadun Rasulullah is the Messenger of Allah then coming to our zakah, then coming to our salah, then coming to our zakah, then coming for hajj means living a life of pilgrimage and moving always towards the Divine. Means all of what we're doing was to be of service and to have good character. And that's why then this way of ours is based on love. People who leave that formula out they, they, they go through the principles and the pillars of Islam as if those will be your reward. And there's nothing that you can give of zakat or salah before zakat is that iqam salah to zakah is that if you come to salah there's nothing in salah that guarantees that you're going to go onto a miraj and that you're going to be in the miraj of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad So it means that they do the actions but without the correct understanding. The understanding the tariqahs come and teaches that you have a path and that path is the way of love. It's the love for the Divine, love for the prophetic reality and the love for those whom represent that reality. As a result of that love we begin to learn about the practices. And that's why they teach through muhabbat and kindness and good character. Now when you come and say, well why don't you try to be of service better by praying. And when you pray you feel more connected, you feel yourself disciplining the, the beast within so that the angelic reality can come out. And then by being charitable we begin to open up our heart and our compassion towards one another, towards creation. And all of them, the actions then bring about the perfection of character if the foundation of everything is based on love and muhabbat. If the foundation is based on the pillars that I'm just going to pray and, and be a great person, most likely you pray and you won't be a great person, you won't even be a kind person. Because the actions without love can build arrogance and pride in which like Satan he was happy with his actions. Because his foundation was based on pride. He prayed and became prideful and boastful of how he prayed. 
means that every action was being done was actually boosting of the bad character and the bad nafs. We pray that Allah on, on these holy nights grant us to be with them and grant us to be with whom we love and let our love be a means in which to draw us into their heart and into their attention and into their affection within the heavens. That if Allah sees our names within the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad already that, that soul has been granted an immense blessings. Just imagine when the nazar because we can't understand what is the nazar of Allah but when he looks into the heart of the servant and the only heart he is interested in looking at is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad the heart of the prophetic reality. And inshaAllah they find our names within the heart of living a life to be of khidmat and service and good deeds and good actions, helping others, helping and helping others to build themselves, to feed themselves, take care of themselves. Means this, this way is, is not the way that people think. They think if they pray they're going to achieve something, that they're going to pay something and they're going to achieve something and that they're going to go for hajj and they're going to achieve something. But the secret of these stations and maqams and these high realities that all these awliya are teaching was a simple secret, was muhabbat and love. That when you love Prophet you love Allah Supreme and then you say, Ya Rabbi how I can serve you? And, and Allah inspires that, you can't serve me, I'm the Creator, I'm not in need of anything. But who you can serve is your Messenger because He's responsible for this creation. He's responsible to bring this creation back to my presence pure and purified. And that was his, his all his concern was, Ummati, Ummati, Ummati. Allah inspires then, go to be of service to Prophet Live a life of khidmat and service. And that's why then as a result we turned in that direction of love and ashq and asked that, what can I do? What can I do to be of service? And then their response was, pray more because you, you don't have anything to give us until you discipline your character. So then we washed more, we prayed more. Then they would teach that, give, give until you become a sincere servant of Allah in which you take away the fear of loss and give so that your heart is compassionate and sincere and that you have this ishq and this love and that your tawakkul, your, your complete reliance is upon the Divinely Presence. Means all of these actions are building something. When we live a life of service, we live a life of ishq and love and we begin to do then now the, the principles of Islam, the pillars of Islam with the basis of love everything begins to open and its reality begins to open. Means these are the months of immense generosity and service and good actions and good deeds because it opens such an immense proximity to the Divinely Presence. That is Allah is bringing about the dress of Israhil al miraj how can anyone achieve that? To give us the wazifa we can sit at home and to recite the wazifa. These are all good but the greatest way to achieve that is with their love. When we have their love, love for Sayyidina Muhammad we're making the durood the sharif, we're making all the salawats, we're attending all the majlises, we're trying to live a life of service, to be of service, we're trying to be generous, we're trying to support, we're trying to, to share the links and, and do everything to get the nazar of Prophet that, look oh they're trying. And that's all that it took is for that nazar to come upon the soul and grab us and place us within the reality and the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Our life is based on that. You don't get the nazar by your salah. That nobody looks to you and says, wow you pray like a, amazing, like we've never seen anyone in creation pray like that. The nazar comes from the love and the ishq and the good character. 
And as a result with that love and ish they're continuously asking Prophet how can we best serve you? Then they teach you like this, do like that, pray more, wash more, be clean, be correct, be good with your character, be loving, be generous, be supportive. And generosity opens an immense proximity to Divinely grace and Divinely majesty and builds like a bond of glue with the prophetic reality. That's why I support those whom are dearest to Sayyidina Muhammad the weak, the innocent and the children whom they, they can't give you anything back but they give you their smiles. And what we are seeking is Allah's rida and satisfaction and that Prophet to be happy with us. These actions and these deeds in the month of Rajab, the month of Shaban, that is the opening for those months, that's why. Now how are anyone going to achieve Israhi wal Miraj except by their generosity, their love and their khidmat? With that khidmat, nazar of Prophet comes upon their soul and as a result pulls them into that reality. Anytime the shaykhs are crying, they're not crying because they have a problem in their life because people start texting, oh what's this, what's this. They're crying because they know that their students won't achieve what's needed to be achieved. And they cry, it's not their own hardship. Because Allah gave them a station and, and gave them what they're supposed to achieve. They cry out of the pity of the people who follow and they know they won't achieve, they won't be protected, they won't achieve what they were supposed to achieve. They know that the wars are coming, they know that pandemics are coming, they know all of these destructions are coming and they know the immensity of hardships that are about to come upon this earth. And they've been warning for years on that reality and as you see them opening it's surreal because people think, oh wow what's that? It's not a coincidence, they warned it 20 years ago, 15 years ago because the farasan is very far in advance. It's not a two-day farasan where they tell you tomorrow what's happening. But years in advance of what was going to be coming upon this earth. And their tears are for their community that are not going to make it, they're not practicing correctly, they're not trying to establish their connection and how are they going to make it? That becomes the family of the shaykh, that, Ya Rabbi all those whom you put within our responsibility we pray Ya Rabbi and through the tears and through the heart that Allah nazar and rahmah be upon them and to lift them with Divinely grace and place them at a location and a station, at a, at a light in which Allah will dress them and bless them. Means that what happens behind the scenes in the world of light is far greater than anything understood within the physical realm and the physicality. As we said in those associations that like birds entering into the presence of Prophet with the love and the muhabbat of the shaykh and his connection to that reality opens up an audience for everyone to come with their love and to present their love into that Divinely Presence. And as a result when that's being presented in that love then that's their, their moment of munajat is to make du'a that we are not going to make it. That all on my ship are not going to make it, the people are not going to achieve it, they're not capable, they're not doing it, they're not achieving it. That with your Divine grace please you have to lift us into that presence. So means all of these realities is based on love. That's why you turn other channels and other belief systems, the other teachings it's ridiculous. They think with their own actions they can get anywhere but they have no understanding of any of these realities. And only these realities to understand them is only achieved with muhabbat and love. And that's why upon their ship when they enter into that presence their whole thing is about making du'a that, please we're all here with these lights, dress us with your grace, bless us with your grace. For only that hand if to come that hand of light to lift us and then present us in that location which would be a location of safety upon our souls and on our physicalities inshaAllah. We pray that through these blessed nights 
that with love and generosity and good character Allah dress upon us, complete His blessings upon us, complete His favours upon us, Ya Surakullahu Nasran Aziza and to support us with a mighty support as many things are opening upon dunya and we've talked all of these things that are happening now. These are not anything new for people who are watching that one after another these things will begin to open and escalate all around the world. We pray that Allah complete His favours upon us on these holy nights, dress us and bless us with the immensity of lights and blessings inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha. Asana